If you go back to some of my earliest videos on this channel, what you'll find is that I started off by making a forge. And uh, I actually have it over here. As you can see, those of you that have been following me for a while, the garage is very different. Very A lot of things moved around. I've moved, uh, that's Pigpin right there. He's a 51 Willys. Uh, he was sitting here. I moved him over to here. That was my welding table that used to set here and I moved it up there and I brought my forge back in here. It had been setting in our breezeway and uh, anyway, I hadn't been using it out there. And as you can see, I actually, the big mess on here and charcoal and stuff from a lot of, a whole host of failed experiments and just playing around with it. Um, what we're doing though, is for our first video for the new format, we are going to rebuild the, the forge part. We're going to build a new fire pot, uh, maybe a new tweer. I, I'm not sure, uh, but mostly the forge fire pot. We're keeping the uh, my bellows. I love my bellows. They work great. And uh, I might eventually lift them higher to the rafters and replumb it and that kind of stuff. We're going to be putting in, uh, at some point, I'm going to be putting a... a, a uh, a hood and and chimney and stuff to get the the smoke and stuff out of here but uh, that's what we're working on and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna take this piece of uh, this is a piece of 10 gauge uh, hot roll sheet it's just a leftover from some other project probably some plant I think it's from plant yeah it's from some uh, planters that I made earlier or uh, yeah earlier in the year maybe late last year I'm not sure but we're gonna use it for basically the form and then we've got uh, a plan for doing um, oops we're gonna use this for the, the forge itself and then I got plans for a to build a new fire pot here's some uh, table legs I just finished they're uh, they're fun but anyway so uh, Anyway, that's what we're doing, and let's get started. Okay, what are we doing here? So, when I originally, if you go back and look at the original videos when I built this, this was built out of an old fire, outdoor fire pit that was just setting out in the garage, out in the, out in the yard. And I didn't build a fire, a proper fire pot for it or anything. I just put a hole in it, and then I built up the bottom with some bricks. And anyway, um, it just kind of conveniently uh, happened to be this size. It was a pretty good size, I like it. And then uh, we're gonna kinda, I built this table base here later. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the new one to fit in this space. And it, I've already measured, I've already measured it. It's gonna be roughly 30. And the width on this actually works out. It's a little, about 28 and a half inches or so. It actually works out uh, just pure chance and convenience to fit between that little tab there and this pit, bit of wood here. So uh, we're just going to take advantage of that convenience and we're going to uh, just cut this thing off to 29 and 3 quarters and then uh, we're going to cut some 3 inch, and three inch strips.
All right, so we've got our pieces cut. There's those pieces, the bigger pieces over there. We're getting ready to uh, clean them up, clean the dross off of them. If I can find my uh, safety glasses and hearing protection. Um, um, Oh, they're around here somewhere. We'll find them. <clears throat> All right, one more thing we're gonna do before we start tacking this together is we're gonna put a couple of drops in here, a couple of openings in the sides uh, so that we can run longer pieces through the forge and get them into the, into the fire. Uh, we're just going to mark this out. Uh, not going to get fancy with it. We're just going to. I don't even know how big. What do you think? No. Just something convenient. Doesn't have to be. Just line it there. No more on there. That. Yeah, I like that. That looks reasonable. And then we need to draw. Come up about an inch and an eighth. We have uh, And just like that, we've got a, uh, a new tray for our forge here. We've got our little openings for running long stuff through it. Um, I went ahead and welded it. Got it, uh, you know, it's welded inside, outside on the corners. We went ahead and uh, sanded this down a little bit. The bottom, the underside, we just put a little, little half inch tack every three inches or so. Bottom's ugly, but whatever. So, so that's it for me today. I've got to head in and we're going to finish the design for the fire pot. And that'll tell us where we cut the hole for the fire pot. So huh, we're going to take a break. It's a bright, sunshiny day. It's morning now. We're um, getting ready to. Yesterday we made this guy right here the, for the new uh, forge. Right now we're working on the fire pot. I just loaded a, a 20 foot length of half, um, half inch by four four inch flat bar um, it's not light um, we're gonna be that's you would think I lived in a like a, like on a busy street or something anyway um, that's what we're building the fire part out of uh, there there may be a drawing available for this uh, project I haven't decided how we're gonna do that but uh, 
Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm cutting right now with this, the bandsaw. We're going to cut one piece and then we're going to cut a longer piece so it's easier to manage. And then we're going to cut some angles with the, with the uh, plasma. So that's what we're doing. All right, what we're doing now is getting ready to make the sides for the... Uh, fire pot and we're gonna mark this this is I figured this all out on the computer and to get the shape that I want I gotta cut this at this angle here is uh, 59 degrees hopefully we can do that with the uh, plasma cutter it's I'm fresh out of tips, and yesterday it started cutting kind of funny, so um, we'll just have to see what happens. So let me find a straight edge. here well we got our bits um, these are the pieces that are going to make up the uh, forge pot fire pot and you can see they turned out pretty close to each other they're you know not perfect I mean they were cut by hand so but they're plenty close enough for Uh, that's welded together. Um, not necessarily the prettiest welding, but uh, I could cap these welds and stuff, but there's l literally no reason to. It's just, uh, you know, uh, that'd just be a waste of weld metal and shield gas. What we got to do now is figure our uh, grate and our tweer. This was the little grate that was in the other forge. I think we're going to reuse it. Because I think I'd just go ahead and I'm just going to reuse the uh, tweer I originally built uh, because I like, <laughs> well, I'm lazy and I don't want to spend time rebuilding it. So that's why we're going to do it. Uh, so I'm going to have to get the old one off of, I have to get the old one off of the uh, other forge and figure out where to put a big hole here. But before we do that, we're going to work on, this is some eighth inch by one uh, strap. We're going to make a flange that uh, mounts, I mean we're looking at the bottom of this so, but anyways we're going to build a flange that mounts underneath here, or uh, at the top, so that when we drop it into the, into the table it'll uh, be flush. So uh, let's get that done and then I'm going to tear that forge apart finally and pull the old uh, tweer out. So let's do that. Thank you. 
right, people, that's what we got for today. Um, we built the basis for our fire pot. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's great. I'm loving it. Uh, feels, feels like the right depth to me and, you know, size. I, I mean, I could have made a bigger one, but I don't, I don't have, I don't think I need one any bigger than this. I should be able to get a nice ball of hot right about, you know, right about in here. So tomorrow I'll be back out here. Uh, we're going to see about getting the, the tweer off the old, uh, the old forge and getting it mounted to the new fire pot and then we're gonna cut the uh, we're gonna cut the table here and set the fire pot in it and then we're gonna get that thing out and see how everything fits with this and then see if we can get it uh, I don't know if it'll happen tomorrow but then we'll be ready to start running the connection from the uh, from the bellows so uh, yeah Good morning. It's a bright new day. Well, sort of bright. Chicken doesn't know any better, but the uh, it's kind of cloudy out today, but uh, it's a good day. We have just taken off. Uh, this was the tweer that I built years ago. Um, just some two-inch pipe. Um, looks like Schedule 40. Um, <clears throat> little funny little ash dump. A little valve here for regulating the flow of air through it. It's just a piece of, I'm not sure it's that, 5 sixteenths rod and a piece of sheet metal down in there to make for like a butterfly valve. Um, <clears throat> the fire pot that we built yesterday, uh, we've got to figure out how to mount that to the fire pot. So it goes like that. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I think... I don't think I need as many bolts. I think I got an idea. I think what we're going to do is put two, two half inch studs into the uh, fire pot and a couple of tabs and then just bolt it down with a couple, of, you know, lock it down with a couple of nuts. Seems like a good idea. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on this. All right, what we got here is uh, got it. The fire pot anchored down. This is a uh, two and an eighth inch hole saw, and I've got a center point marked here. And we're gonna see if we can punch a hole through this half inch plate, so. I don't know if WD's the best lube, but that's what we're gonna use.
Finally putting this back together. So let's see, this goes which way? Um, nah, I can't imagine it mattering. Can't make much difference. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We have a brand new forge, all handcrafted from the finest steel that money can buy. Anyway, um, final fitting, I went ahead and just tacked the fire pot to the uh, table here. Uh, it hooked up. I don't know what miracle took place in my life, but wait, let's see if we can get down in here and look. The uh, <laughs> I didn't have to adjust any of the height here. It just happened that the tweer ended up at the same height as it did before so i'd like to believe that that's proof that jesus was a craftsman so anyway that's it for this project pretty much i think what we're going to do is i'm going to toss some uh, charcoal in there we're going to light it up see how hot it gets see about burning a piece of metal and um till next time Bye.